Welcome back to my new model Barmy channel and as you can see we're in the garden. So this time I'm going to be doing something interesting with this because I've already done something interesting with that. So this is a just a little uh, haven, a little retreat in our back garden that uh, Mrs Pierce and I like to sit. Um, now normally there would be a hot tub sitting here but because you now have to sell a kidney in order to pay the electricity bill to run a hot tub uh, that's staying in the loft at the moment so we thought we'd have a nice uh, nice little area to sit sit out at. so uh, anyway you're probably thinking what the hell's this got to do with modeling or railway modeling um, so keep watching and you'll find out so this is why we're doing something inter interesting with the little garden store because I've done something interesting with the bigger garden store uh, ladies and gentlemen I give you the Lynx tow bar so I have a bit of an inf infatuation with the Westland Lynx helicopter particularly the Mark 7 um, so my little garden bar is a tribute to the Lynx Mark 7 and the tow missile that was its primary anti-tank armament so let's take a little closer look I'll make this quick because we want to make this more about modeling uh, so I've got all sorts of links bits here so I've got a tail rotor blade um, I've actually got my little bottle rack which is a, a Lynx uh, cyclic stick uh, I've got some Lynx instruments there um, so all various accoutrements and bits and pieces and stickers and memorabilia and all that sort of malarkey uh, and I've got my uh, beer fridge there uh, and this all lights up at night so I'll try and include uh, a night shot of this as well so what I needed was something to accompany this and I've always fancied a little garden railway and because of the configuration of our garden um, as you can see it's not really big uh, this is one small part of it uh, but the rest of the garden isn't very big and there wasn't really a lot of capacity to put a railway um, around the garden so I thought well I could maybe put a little micro on top of this and I could then have a sort of beer delivery train um, so let's uh, let's see what happened so this is what happened um, this is a just a bit of MDF baseboard which I've encapsulated in roofing felt so this is a sort of self-adhesive shed roofing felt and I did the sort of um, dog bone shape in foam board above that so the track level sits slightly higher than the rest of the of the board in the hope that any water would kind of run off I don't know that you can sort of see the difference in height levels there but maybe not uh, but this bit here is higher and then it drops down like that so it drops away here so this is code 75 flexi track and hopefully I've left enough gap uh, between the rail joiners um, to allow for expansion um, so there we go that's the track laid um, feed going into it from there which I just covered with another bit of uh, felt uh, so uh, let's populate it and see what it looks like and as if by magic uh, suddenly we've populated it with some plants and um, some solar powered rock lights which light it all up at night uh, and a little footbridge that I bought recently at a show uh, which I paid two pounds for so I kind of modified that and that just uh, disappears around the back of that little uh, plant whatever it is I'm not really green fingered so I don't really know what any of this stuff is uh, but there we go so the next step was how am I going to control it so for my birthday my very kind family bought me an HM6000 Hornby controller which is a controller that operates off your phone so what I've done I've hidden that let's just open the door to the bar so that is just tucked in just about see it behind the fridge so that little controller there goes up through a wire there and then that connects up to the layout and that is controlled off my phone so let's uh, let's see how that works 
Right, so this is quite a clever bit of kit actually. Um, I'm quite impressed with this. So hopefully you can see it on my phone. But as I operate the slider, you'll see in the background that the loco has started to move. And there we are. So this is my little 135th scratch built loco on a 040 Hornby double uh, O chassis. Uh, it's actually a Bagnall chassis. Um, I'll try and put a link to the video of the conversion as well. So that runs around there beautifully. So obviously you can change the speed using the slider and despite its reputation as a pocket rocket, this little chassis, they do crawl around really nicely. Certainly the newer ones do anyway. So as a proof of concept, yeah that works. Uh, but will it pull round a beer train? So uh, let's have a look. So what have we got coming round here? Uh, not quite pulling a pint, but pulling a brew dog and what's, what else is this? Oh, it's a five regiment anniversary shot glass. Hmm. Okay, don't mind if I do. Cheers. Hmm, not bad. So as you can see, I've made a couple of little wagons. One of them uh, is just a sort of, well, they're both on O double O chassis, uh, and one of them I made just big enough to take uh, one of the smaller beer cans. I've had to um, increase the length of the tension lock coupler. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit there, whether you can see that, to stop any buffer lock. So I used, uh, I literally cut the tension lock coupler and extended it by using a rail joiner of all things and then soldered that on um, so uh, yeah that was quite effective so uh, there we go my little beer train my beer delivery train controlled off my phone and let's get him going again so i hope you like my tiny garden railway it's a bit of fun but as you guys know that's uh, what my channel's all about uh, a bit of fun don't take it too seriously uh, so I hope you like it uh, I'll try and leave you with some shots of this uh, running at night uh, and hopefully you'll join me next time for probably something completely different so uh, take care and cheers and I'll see you next time